سبحان الله يا الله I would say that there are many levels and, and I really think that we have to be very cautious not to be assertive because we are resisting. We should be assertive because we want to be who we are and we know what Islam means for us. So the starting point is not because I have been banned or because I'm facing you know, many different you know, attacks coming from the Western or from different circles in the Western societies. I think that our strength is mainly to come back to the fundamentals of the Islamic faith and the Islamic faith and the tradition and the aqidah, which is really this connection with God. I have one uh, uh, fear with Muslims living in, in the West and living in the States, for example, is really what I'm seeing is two things. Some are going very far into spirituality and even Sufism and, and this is Islam and this is the only way to be a good Muslim or to be good Muslims. On the other side we have people very much against the system and struggling for rights and politics and, and it's as if there is a gap between the two. But to be a Muslim and to assert your identity is to be both at the same time is really to know the very essence of Islam, which is to purify yourself and to come back to this closeness to, to, to Allah, to God, and to try to, to, to understand that at the end of the day, all our life is a struggle for peace. And the most important peace is the inner peace. By saying this, we come with values and understanding the oneness of God. A tawheed is really this one, reconciliation between you and him and you and him means you and yourself because the knowledge of God is between you and your heart mm -hmm. this is one thing on the other side we are doing all this to change the world for the better and to change the world for the better means to change the United States of America for the better is to be a contributing force to the best uh, values and, and, and justice and equality and uh, empowerment for Muslims. So I would say yes, it's because I know the, the meaning of being at peace with God and to try to, to promote justice that I have been struggling for my rights in this country by saying what you are doing is wrong because at the end of the day nothing is wrong in, in me supporting Palestinians for example because I will carry uh, I will uh, keep on supporting them whatever is going to happen because this is justice because these are oppressed people uh, and then this is what we have to do so this mindset it's important because you are not assertive against you are assertive for for your values for some objectives it's more justice in the United States of America it's a democracy, but still not a perfect democracy. When you're an African-American Muslim in this country, you're still facing injustices. When you are poor, you're facing injustices. So the civil rights are an ongoing struggle in this country. And it's not because your president now is an African-American president that everything is, 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 is solved. It's, it's not true. It's, it's really that it may be a symbol, but the symbol could hide the reality and not to express it. So I would say this is where the Muslims should be and, and this is where they have to be assertive by doing two things that are very important for me. Never to nurture a victim mentality. We are not victims. It's life is a test. Life is a, is a test. Your death, your life are tests. So you have to face up to the challenges of these tests. And then you have to be the subject of your own history. So by being American, by being uh, uh, citizens in this country, it's really not to say, oh, we are victims, you don't like us, so we are going to withdraw or, or to show you a, a nice face of you know, spiritual things. That's not right. Mm -hmm. The nice face is there, but it should be visible through your acts and behavior within the society. Because in Islam, faith is visible. It's visible through your actions and behavior on the civil, 
uh, uh, ground, on the social ground, at the individual level and at the collective level. So this is one dimension. So no victim mentality. And the second one, which is quite important because this is also what I'm seeing in many Western societies and in the United States of America exactly the same, is this uh, uh, mindset of being a minority. Or we are a minority in the society. No, our values are majority values. So as citizens who have to come and to speak about justice, will be understood by anyone when we speak for justice for all. Justice for everyone, men and women, black and white, anything which has to do with justice, we are for it. Against, you know, torture, extraordinary rendition, uh, uh, wrong laws against, you know, immigrants, all these are our struggles. So I would say here that uh, we have to come with something which is a majority mindset, which mm -hmm. is we are talking. Uh, to the whole, the, the, the whole of the United States of America as a majority with our majority values and this is why we have to be constructive. Once again, uh, it's always a question of terminology. What does it mean to be integrated? For me, it's over. The religious and cultural integration is done. You, your organizations, all what you are doing is just showing that you are American. So you have just to be uh, accepting the fact that you are uh, American Muslim or Muslim Americans. That, that's not a problem. So I, what I'm saying now is, have, you know, I'm always repeating this because you have people coming to you say, you Muslims, you have to integrate. And by using the term, they create the problem. And we have to do exactly the opposite, because the, the success of integration is to stop talking about integration. That's over now. Let us talk about the real uh, uh, challenge, which is contribution, is that we, ha we, we need to contribute. And our contrib uh, uh, contribution to this society uh, should be a, a, on many levels. And once again, not only on the social ground, on the spiritual ground, with ethics. Our distinction should be a moral, ethical distinction and not only distinction in the way we dress. Because the way we dress is just showing what we believe in. These are values, we, de we speak about dignity, we speak about the self. We, sh we are saying to the people, your value is not in what you have, but your value is in what you are. So this is the way we dress, we are sending a message. So I would say that this is something which is really important in our presence in the United States of America and in the Western societies. So to let the people know, say, okay, look, if you want me to integrate by being less a Muslim to be more an American, it's over. You have lost the struggle. Because all the people who are now settling down, they're just willing to be both fully Muslim and fully American. And this is what we have to do. But we also have to say to the Muslims, be careful. Don't fall into the trap of this American dream that you are settling down in the United States, making money, forgetting values and principles. Because we, this is also what we are saying. And if you look at the reality of the Muslim community, in, in, uh, in America, you can see this, that there is a gap between the, the new immigrants, the new American citizens making money, having their, you know, in the, 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 the countryside, outside the inner cities, they are making money, big masks, while in the inner cities we have African American Muslims, very poor, marginalized, disenfranchised in this society. And they are saying to the society, you are telling us that we have to integrate? We are native Americans. We are you know, just after the, the, the native. We, are, we have been here for centuries now. And you're telling us that we have to integrate. It might be exactly the opposite, that the United States of America should integrate this Muslim presence and not the Muslims to be integrated. Mm -hmm. This is something that you have also to tell the people. So this is a very important intellectual struggle, intellectual jihad, which is really to resist this uh, use of wrong terminology to create problems that are now solved already. Uh, first, of course, I'm supporting this because I, I really think that this is what we have to do. Uh, I, w I would start with a comprehensive picture. Is that for the Muslims not to be only visible when we speak about Islam. It's when we speak about human beings we are here. This is what it is to be a Muslim. It's really this. This is the essence of Islam. So when we speak about being a Muslim in this country, in, in the States, 
is really to be involved in all the discussions. We speak about schools, we have to be involved in anything which has to do with education, not by saying, oh, we are going to create our Islamic schools. That's fine. Do your Islamic schools, but what about the, the state system? What about the schools and the curriculum, what we are teaching? When we speak about social problems, about you know, uh, uh, marginalization, poverty in this country, it's just this is the, the, the supposedly the, the, the biggest and the, the, the richer country in the world. And if you go and you see how people are living, you have poverty, you have you know, things that are unacceptable in we speak about human dignity. So we have to be involved in this, that we have to struggle against anything uh, which has to do with poverty. In Mauritius, for example, we started a big campaign, a jihad against poverty because this is the right way of using jihad, is against poverty. Our enemy is not the non-Muslim. Our enemy is anything which is wrong, and poverty is wrong. So this is something that we have to do as well. When we speak about, you know, families, it, we are very quick as Muslims to say, oh, you know, family is so important. Okay, but what is happening in, in the rich countries today, in Western countries, about divorces and, 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 and kids not knowing uh, how to deal with authorities and transmission, fatherhood. We speak very much about women, and we are right to do that. But we also have to speak about fathers, because it's very difficult today to be a father in Western societies. All this question of being a, a, a presence, of, of going along your own kids. So this is where the Muslims should be. We are talking about uh, everything which has to do with being a citizen or being a human being. So this is a comprehensive approach. Let the people see you as an American, a Muslim American, dealing with everything, and not only with with Islam, because if you come only when we speak about Islam on the domestic side or on the at the interna in the, uh, the international scene, we are perceived by definition is going to be perceived as oh on the defensive. You come when we speak about Islam. So this is something that we have to do. The second point, which is important, is all the work that you are talking about. You know, solidarity work and, and working and telling the people if you want to ask about Islam, just come to us. Uh, or we are uh, supporting the poor, the needy people in the country, that's all fine. But this has to be part of something which is a, a, a more an overall vision. And the overall vision is when we speak about contributing, it's not only on solidarity. It's not only humanistic or humanitarian work that we are uh, talking about. It's also about rights. It's also about, you know, dealing with rights. This is to be assertive. You know, it's not, you know, it's very good to speak about democracy, but the way it's implemented is quite important. So when you are a black man or a black woman in this country, you are facing, you know, because we don't have money sometimes, you are facing, you know, wrong implementation. And it's discrimination on the job market, in housing. So this is where we also have to be. It's to be assertive by saying, we are doing this for the sake of the, the country. So it's not only to come with a big heart, it's to come with a very demanding intellectual uh, struggle on anything which has to do with our rights, our citizenship, our dignity. And then solidarity work should be involved into this. Because my, my, my fear here is really to see Muslims coming with, oh, solidarity work, you know, we have uh, uh, during Ramadan, solidarity thing, that's all fine. But it's as if, once again, if you go behind it, it's as if we want to show the people that we are nice, that we are kind, that we care. That's all good, if and only if. We are saying we have a heart, but we have requirement that we have claims that we want to be treated with dignity, not only us as Muslims, but every single human being. So this is something which is also important. And the last, the last dimension of all this work, it's also uh, to be involved in, in, in things that are essential for our time. So I don't see enough Muslim contribution into something which has to do with global warming with ecology, with the way we treat animals. And this is why we have to be self-critical. Because during Eid al-Adha, the way we treat the sheep and the way we are slaughtering, we have to ask ourselves, is this the right way to do it? Because we are very, very strict on the technicalities. Bismillah, Allahu Akbar. But on the way we treat animals, that's wrong. This is not the Prophet's message. So to be self-critical, 
the, what the Prophet ﷺ told us is to treat the animals with dignity. So we can't send a message to the people that we are strict on technicalities and not deep on teachings. So all these things are quite important. So, of course, I would support what is done, but I would it uh, uh, be within something which is a, a vision uh, with multiple, multifaceted vision because we are dealing with all these things all together. Look, um, in my last book, What I Believe, I'm saying it's not a question of 10 years. It's going to be a question of two generations, at least. We are going to face challenges, and it's not going to be easy. Because as you can see, after uh, September 11th, it has been more and more the case. But before that, it was already there, is that we are perceived as the other, the other within. So uh, an outsider within or uh, uh, an, uh, uh, an insider that is still perceived as a, a foreigner. And we have to, be, this is, you know, the very essence of your questions, is really how do we deal with that? And I would say that uh, it's a question of time. So I'm always saying we have to normalize our presence without trivializing it. Meaning by this, it's normal to be an American Muslim, but we have an ethical distinction. This is not to trivialize our presence. It's to be there with something which is for in order for you to bear witness, to bear witness to your message before uh, uh, the people around you. So I think it's not going to be easy. You are going to face uh, in the States challenges and, and campaigns against, you know, this uh, uh, Muslim presence. Listen to what is, is said by some trends in the States about what is going on in Europe. You have trends coming mainly from the States saying, oh, in Europe we have now dealing with Arabia. Is that Islam is silently colonizing Europe because of the numbers. And then it's exponentially the fa fact that, you know, Muslims are going to grow and, and, and it's going to be a, a very effective presence. So they are sending a message which is, oh, this is very scary. And at the same time in the States, they are watching the Muslims and sometimes monitoring them. So I would say to the Muslims, this is not going to be easy, but you have the choice. You will have what you deserve. If you are assertive, confident with your own values, and you know that uh, you are not coming here to be the other, but you are to be here to be among the people as an American, providing this society with the best values and the best behavior, this is where you have to be assertive. Your spirituality, your heart, yourself, don't forget yourself into the society and don't forget the society because you care about your own self. So it's always a balance. And then give. You are what you give. And you are what you are at the same time. This is the very meaning of being a Muslim. Those who believe and then do good deeds. This is the balance. It's not going to be easy. You will have people, if you are here to please them, you will never be at peace with your own self. Because life is not to please the people. Life is Rid Allah, it's his satisfaction, and you know that when you please Allah or God, you are going to be respected by the people. This is the very uh, uh, meaning of, of being with God. And then the second thing which is also important is uh, whatever are the critiques and, and the people rejecting you, at the end you will find that within this society, many people are starting to listen. Many Americans, they know that something is wrong in the whole you know, discussion. So they are listening to Muslims, they are listening to us, they want to know uh, what, who are these fellow citizens trying to be you know, quite uh, 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 vigilant with their own values. So it's up to us to do the job, it's, it's, it's to stop just uh, uh, putting ourselves into something which is, oh, we are not liked in this country. If we respect ourselves, we are going to be respected. It's not going to be easy, it's going to take time, effort, patience, perseverance, endurance, but this is life. And, and if we think about what happened for other Muslims in other uh, situations and time, 
they were facing much more than what we are facing. So we still have the resources to do what we had to do, inshallah. Allah. Allah.